What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMertech.com and this is another tutorial in beginner PHP programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about sorting arrays. So let's get started. In our previous couple of tutorials I showed you guys the different types of arrays and how you declare them, how you use them. Well, there are functions that will let you sort the arrays themselves. And uh, th there's a bunch of them. There's ascending order, descending order, and so on and so forth. In this class, I'm going to talk about ascending order and descending order. I'm going to show you guys how to sort arrays uh, in ascending order and descending order. All right, so let's first start off by uh, creating an array. So I'm, I'm going to start off by naming my array name. And I want to make it equal to array. And we got to use open parentheses. And we got to give it values now, right? Uh, since my array is called name, I'm going to give it a couple of names. So s since the names are strings, we're going to use this double quote. So the first name will be Mike. And there would be double quote, uh, comma. And uh, we're going to add another one. Let's call this one Anthony. All right. Comma. And let's call our third one Peter. Remember, since these are all strings, we have to use double quotes here. And uh, we separate the, the different values by the commas here. The different values are separated by commas. You could add as many in an array as you want. I'm just going to add one more. And let's make it a female. Let's call this one Katie. All right. End it with a double quote. Close up R parentheses and ended with a semicolon, right? So now we've declared an array, which we called name, right? In our array, we have uh, four different values here, four different string values. Our first value is Mike. Our second value is Anthony. Our third value is Peter. And our fourth value is Katie, right? Now, if you guys have followed me in my previous tutorials, we know that this is first value here is is index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2, and this is index 3. Now, how do we print out these different values, right? So the way we do it is uh, use the echo, right? Then we're going to use our variable name, which is name, or array name, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then we're going to use the brackets, open and close brackets, and end it with a semicolon, right? In this open and close bracket, we got to give it the, the index number. All right, remember, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So let's print out our first one, which is Mike, 0, right? Let's just copy this here so I don't have to retype it. And I'm going to paste it four times because we have four different values, right? So let's, we do this, hit enter, paste. Do this, hit enter, paste. Enter, paste. Now we got four of them, right? So our first one, Mike is zero, right? It's indexed as zero. Our second one, Anthony's indexed as one. Our third one, Peter, is indexed as two. And our fourth one, Katie, is indexed as three, right? So when we print this, it'll print them out basically on the same line. So we got to add a break here. So to add a break, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dot here, right, or period, because we want to continue this echo statement to add something. You All you have to do is add the period, right? Now I want to add this double quotation here, right? And in this double quotation, I'm going to add this less than symbol, br, greater than symbol, this, and then uh, end it with a uh, double quote again. What th this is going to do, this br, this break here, this is going to break to the next line, so everything won't be printed out on the same line, basically. So I should have copied that in the beginning, but let me just copy that right now. Let's copy this right here. Let's add it here. All right, so now it's going to break to a new line. Uh, this one here, it's three. And we have to end it with a closing bracket, right? So, all right, so when this prints out, it's going to print out Mike, Anthony, Peter, and Katie all on different lines. So let's test it out. Let's hit save. Let's open up our browser. Let's hit As you can see, it printed out Mike, Anthony, Peter, and Katie all in different lines, right? Now, let's say we want to sort this, like alphabetical order, ascending and descending. How do we do that? There are functions. The, the first function is called sort, right? So to do that, all you have to do is... Uh, Type in your sort function under the array, right? So, and the sort function starts out like this. You type in sort, 
open and close parentheses and end it with a semicolon, right? In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our array name, which is name. So we type in name, all right? So, so now it's going to sort the, the values. It's going to sort them in ascending alphabetical order. So our so right now our order is not in alphabetical order, so it should fix it. So let's hit save. Let's open up our browser, hit refresh. As you can see, it's sorted in alphabetical order. Now that's ascending alphabetical order from A to Z. Let's, what about descending from Z through A? We could do that too. All we have to do is add an R in front of this sort here. And now it'll sort in descending order from Z through A. So let's hit save. Let's open up our browser and hit refresh. And as you can see, it, it sorted in descending order. Pretty cool, right? That's pretty much it. So there are a lot of ways to sort uh, different arrays. Uh, the, the first one I showed you is the sort. It'll sort in ascending order, in alphabetical order. The second one is R sort, and it'll send in descending alphabetical order. Uh, I'm going to talk more about the other ways to sort in my next class, but that, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.